Hi, I'm Dr. Mangesh Kamath. I'm a senior consultant medical oncologist, hematologist, oncologist and bone marrow transplant physician practicing at Helios Cancer and Hematology Clinics, Bangalore. Today I'm going to talk about a cancer type known as kidney cancer. We call it renal cell carcinoma. It is the cancer of the kidneys in our body. We have two kidneys and if there are any tumor cells that develop in either of the kidney, then you get kidney cancer. There are several varieties of uh, kidney cancer. Uh, the most common variety is called as a clear cell variety. There are other varieties and uh, the commonest variety uh, is the one that I am going to talk about. You can see kidney cancer most commonly in the older age groups, but we have also seen uh, people in uh, middle age or even young age coming with kidney cancer. Uh, may, may, uh, most commonly, uh, they are discovered incidentally while undergoing uh, an ultrasound uh, uh, of the abdomen while undergoing a health checkup. Sometimes there is a vague pain in the back due to which when an examination is done, we may find a kidney tumor. Uh, when the kidney cancer is seen in young adults, most commonly uh, uh, it is because of some genetic uh, mutation uh, that are commonly seen in uh, kidney cancers that affects the young adults. Whether it is seen in the younger age or older age, the principles of treatment of kidney cancer is the same. Most commonly, we divide all kidney cancers into three major uh, situations, clinical situations. One is if the tumor is involving the kidney, but not the entire kidney, a small part of the kidney. Two is if the tumor is involving the entire kidney or about to go to the nearby structures. And three is the stage four kidney cancer in which the the tumor is not only involved in the kidney but has spread to other parts of the body. It could be the lymph nodes, it could be the bones, it could be other uh, structures in the body. So when there is a very small tumor uh, in the kidney which is most commonly incidentally detected, in those cases we try to just remove the tumor and leave as much as the kidney uh, which is normal is possible. This is called as partial nephrectomy. That means we only remove the tumor, leave the rest of the normal kidney alone. We also make sure that after that is done, we make sure that the uh, patient undergoes regular uh, scanning to make sure that uh, there are no recurrences of tumor in the normal areas. In the second scenario where the kidney is uh, there, uh, the kidney tumor is involving almost the entire kidney and sometimes also involving the nearby structures, we do what is called as a complete nephrectomy in which we remove the entire uh, kidney tumor en masse uh, through surgery and make sure that uh, if there are any lymph nodes nearby, they are also checked for the presence of any uh, tumor cells and they are also removed. So that is called as radical nephrectomy. We remove the entire kidney along with that, we remove the nearby uh, structures which may be microscopically involved or even macroscopically involved and we also check if there are lymph nodes involved. The third scenario is the metastatic or the stage 4 kidney cancer. Now in stage 4 kidney cancer, if it is involving the other uh, parts uh, uh, of the body, we do what is called as cytoreductive nephrectomy. We remove the kidney tumor because it is known that there is something called as an abscopal effect uh, in kidney cancers wherein the primary tumor seems to control the, uh, the secondaries or the uh, other tumor cells that have gone into other parts of the body. So by removing the, uh, the primary source of the cancer, we are going to make sure that uh, the, uh, the other tumor cells will shrink or even die for that matter. And this is, some, this is a concept which is very specific to kidney cancer. How do you treat a stage 4 kidney cancer after the uh, cytoreductive nephrectomy is done is by giving uh, either immunotherapy, targeted therapy, anti-angiogenic therapy. These are the three major strategies for 
treatment of a stage 4 kidney cancer. Mind you, I mentioned targeted therapy, immunotherapy, anti-angiogenic therapy. So, chemotherapy is not a part of treatment of kidney cancers. Now, with the availability of these strategies of treatment, we have seen so many patients who are living beyond 2, 3, even 5 years in a small number of patients with these strategies and we have not even required chemotherapy in them. We have also seen many patients who have been treated with immunotherapy where the entire disease has vanished and patients are living a normal life. So, it is not to be given up even if you see a patient with stage 4 kidney cancer. In the case of the first and second scenarios as I told you, we have only uh, going to give any uh, treatment if the lymph nodes are involved. If the lymph nodes are involved, we give targeted therapy which are tablets that are given for a short uh, duration after the surgery which prevents the tumor from coming back in a large number of cases. And if the lymph nodes are involved, we don't even give tablets after the surgery. No requirement of chemotherapy, no requirement of tablets in the early stages. And in the advanced stages, you are going to give either immunotherapy, target therapy or angiogenic therapy. So if you have any other questions about kidney cancers, if you know anybody who has got any kidney cancers and you have questions about them, please feel free to ask in the comment box below and I will answer to you personally or I will make further videos on kidney cancer to let you know more about how uh, we manage kidney cancers. Thank you.